Are you ready for some good news? Sometimes the worst times in your life become the best times. Your life has been marked by moments of valuable adversity because God takes what the enemy means for evil and uses it for his good. That's what our text says today in Genesis chapter 50. But Joseph said to them, Do not fear, for am I in the place of God? As for you, you meant it evil against me, but God meant it for good, to bring it about that many people should be kept alive as they are today. So do not fear. I will provide for you and your little ones. Thus he comforted them and spoke kindly to them. Genesis 50, 19 to 21. God uses our adversities to bless others and us. But as renowned theologian Wayne Grudem explained, God isn't the author of evil. And Grudem said it's very clear that Scripture nowhere shows God as directly doing anything evil. Moreover, Grudem says, Scripture never blames God for evil or shows God as taking pleasure in evil. Scripture never excuses human beings for the wrong they do. Uh, Grudem is an important theologian in this concept because he believes, like I do, greatly in the sovereignty of God. But he says we must never come to the point where we think that we're not responsible for the evil that we do or that God takes pleasure in evil or is to be blamed for it. Um, Joseph's brothers threw him into the pit because they had wickedness in their hearts. Potiphar's wife threw Joseph into scandal and thus to prison because of the evil in her heart. God didn't author the evil. He redeemed it. When Joseph revealed himself to his hungry and hopeless brothers, his reassurance made two things clear. One, he knew that the brothers meant it for evil. And two, he knew that God had redeemed it all for good. Because of God's infinite wisdom, goodness, and glory, the horrifying ordeal that Joseph went through was actually a magnificent blessing. Most of us haven't endured the agonies of Joseph, but we've all experienced God moments of valuable adversity. When you look back over your life on your spiritual treasure hunt for your God moments, don't skip past the difficult times. There are good things, wonderful things in your life now that couldn't have been possible if you hadn't faced adversities that you would have never chosen. Those are your God moments of valuable adversity. And that's the gospel. Well, that's today's daily uh, devotional. And if you want even more good news, go to sharingthelight.org. And there you can find this full radio broadcast along with lots of other free resources, sharingthelight.org.